Hello everyone, my name is Ruben the Barber and I'm from Lake Woods, Florida and I'm featuring a portrait work and some design work on the Rich Barber mixtape. Follow me on Instagram at Ruben underscore DA Barber. Shout out to my boy Ruben for that nice little intro right there. Like he said, go ahead, follow my man at Ruben underscore the Barber. Without further ado, here we go. We're gonna get into this crazy, crazy design slash portrait that he did. Kind of see as he's holding his iPhone right there. This thing actually came out crazier than I expected it to and what you're gonna see him do and create is a portrait with a lot of shading techniques a lot of really intricate designs and a lot of really small minute details that he did add to this design so what he's doing right now what he's kind of going through to begin with kind of getting the outline kind of centering up his piece if you guys can kind of see on that right side near the crown of the head he did take down the hair lighter than we did on that left side kind of to the left of where he started that design that you guys are gonna kind of see how he works that and how he kind of uses that to his advantage in the shading techniques. If you can kind of tell in the portrait that he is holding, there's a lot, it, it's more of a black and white photo. So this is gonna be a predominantly shaded portrait. There's not gonna be any added color, any added enhancement that he is gonna to do to this cut. What he is doing a lot of on this cut is, is, is if you can kind of tell by his technique, he's using that trimmer almost as like a pencil. He uses a lot of that left corner side to really drag across the head. So he's not making his lines too, too sharp and making them too, too wide. At first, he's kind of just going over it kind of as a super rough draft of it kind of get a nice little outline kind of getting in everything that he needs to do and he'll grab those red clippers as well i mean what what he does with those red clippers is, is almost kind of take it to a, a another shading technique you could tell that it's not going all the way bald it's kind of getting down to the stubble not as close as his trimmers he uses his trimmers to kind of get that nice close crisp cut when he wants those lines super super bald when he wants to kind of keep a little bit of hair stubble give it that little bit of transition he will go to those red clippers and as we're moving throughout this cut i just really want to highlight how he's holding the clipper he, he switches his how he holds his clipper back and forth a lot from holding it regular to kind of flipping them upside down always trying to get the best angles possible and using that left corner to really drag some barbers like to use the right corner predominantly when we do do designs and when you do see designs done you're not gonna see a whole lot of barbers using the whole flat part of the, of the trimmer you're just gonna be seeing use those corners as a pencil almost like drawing if you're gonna draw a stencil drawing or drawing on a piece of paper like you probably did as a kid I know a lot of great artists who did draw a lot growing up do really dope designs for haircuts I wasn't that great of a drawer as a kid so I don't really do so much of these intricate designs <laughs> you're gonna come out with with a lopsided head if I was to do this on you but Ruben did a really great job on this keeping everything symmetrical he made sure everything was all all nice and proportioned out evenly he set up everything real well as you can see he's moving on to the, i think this is the rose head part of the design he's still just kind of creating that detail work getting that nice soft outline and you can kind of see him pulling the skin with that left hand too to kind of almost get the angles that he needs to kind of make sure that head and that skin is nice and tight think of it almost as like if you were shaving you will make sure that skin is nice and tight to make sure that hair cuts crisp and and you don't have to go back over it multiple times again he's still just doing a rough draft on everything kind of making a rough outline of the whole cut when he does want to go for more of that finished look he's going to go back to his straight razor and that's when you're going to see a lot of this start come to life and then even even more so when he grabs those those clippers again and starts doing his shading work. And as you can tell, probably from a lot of the earlier video, uh, when when he was starting out that rough outline, he had the phone in his left hand instead of pulling the skin with his left hand. He had the phone almost as a reference. So now we're getting to the straight razor. He's not gonna straight razor the full thing. He's gonna get more of the detail work real quick, but still same thing. He's not using the full edge of that straight razor. He's only using the corners of it, pulling the skin real tight, just going in with the corners. And when you go in with the corners, you wanna make sure you don't dig in too hard. You still wanna get a little bit of a flat surface and still work really, really slow with that corner. You wanna make sure you don't cut your client's head or have too many blood spots happening. I'm gonna just shut up right now and just have you guys enjoy the artwork and the craftsmanship that that room puts into this cut and kind of just making sure you guys keep up with the details and make sure i'm not distracting you too much from this cut
going back again with that straight razor kind of nice and easily kind of working his way throughout the head with that corner and you can see how how tight and close the lines are he's not making real big strokes he's, he's just taking bit by bit piece by piece kind of working the whole design together and now here's where he's going to grab his clippers and this is where the real detail takes place with the shading now he's not trying to fade it in real hard make a nice clean fade when he does these uh, shading techniques he's kind of just picking at the hairs picking at areas to make them lighter than others shading in i think of it almost as like like a, a tattoo artist he just goes going through it still still lightening up some areas making sure that uh, dark areas that he wants to stay dark and 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 keep the detail in the lines as dark as possible and and when he does lighten up up certain areas it does bring out the other areas that he left as darker almost a little bit more and make them more predominant to kind of stand out by the way don't forget to follow my boy Ruben the barber um, on Instagram we'll have his Instagram somewhere here on the video and now you're seeing this 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 image have more life to it now than it did before. It was a very dope and a very well done design, but now it just has that life to it. And it kind of gives it a little bit of a 3D effect with that, you, as you can see the rolls. Of course, this is going to be a haircut too. He didn't just leave my man just <laughs> leaving the shop hurt, which is this fresh ass design in the back. He is going to line up the sideburns, kind of finish out that fade on the sides from where he did take it down. And that's, that's the finished product right there. That is how you get a very well done detailed design. A lot of picking action, a lot of minute details that were put into this cut. Whenever you do designs, make sure you guys apply some of those same principles and, and same action aspects that Ruben did right here with picking out with his shading techniques. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Rich Barber a mixtape. We have a lot more coming for you guys. Please stay tuned. We're just going to be giving you guys value, value, value all freaking day.